I do like what they've done with the place here. But I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azitlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me. Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh boy. Blast him in the eye! 
out of here! This is the only way out. Where the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie's treat? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The Codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor the Architect, you mean Evo Shandor the Genocidal Maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra-dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. 